Welcome to MathsMaster.org. We're going to have a look at Galossier method of multiplication now. Now I make no secret of the fact that I think this is the best method for doing any kind of multiplication that you can't do with your times tables. It's an absolutely fantastic method and once you know it you can use it to multiply whole numbers of any size together or decimal numbers you can multiply together or you can even multiply whole numbers by decimals using this method. The method is the same each time and all you've got to know is your times tables from 1 times 1 up to 9 times 9. As long as you know them you can then go and do multiplications of any size using whole numbers or decimal numbers or a mixture of them all. So that's a big promise. Let's have a look at seeing how this Galossier method of multiplication works. So we've got a multiplication here 314 times 7. Now I'm doing a three digit number times by a one digit number. So you can see that when I've laid my workings out here I've got three squares along and I've got one row of those squares. The next thing I do is I draw diagonal lines going down towards the left hand side as you can see just like this. And then I write in my numbers 314 like this. I put a time sign up here and the 7 goes down the side like that. Then you just literally start filling in each square by multiplying the number above the square and the number to the side of it. So if we look at the right hand square we do 4 times 7 is 28. So we write the 2 in here, 2 tens, 8 units like that. Next square in the middle, we do 1 times 7, which is 0 tens and 7 units. And then the next square along, we do 3 times 7, which is 21. So we put the 2 in there, and the 1 unit goes in there. And to finish off, we just do column addition, but notice now that the columns are diagonal. Okay, so we start on the right hand side. If we look at the right hand diagonal column, we've just got an 8 in it. So the total for that column is 8. But the next column along is 2 add 7, which is 9. The column al next along to the left of that is 0 add 1, so the total of that column is 1. And then the final column, the total of that is just the 2. So you can see that our answer is 2,198. Okay, let's have a look at another example now. We're going to do a three-digit number times by a two-digit number, 742 times 23. So, notice how I've got the three-digit number, I've got three squares going along, and then a two-digit number, the 23, I've got two rows of these squares. That way I can then lay out my workings like this. Put your time sign in. And then we have the 2 and the 3 of the 23 goes down there. OK, and then we just fill in each box as before by timesing the number above it by the number to the side of it. So 2 times 2 is 4, so we put 0 tens and 4 units in there like that. Below that we've got 2 times 3 is 6, so we put 0, 6 there. Now, top box in the middle, 4 times 2 is 8, so we put 0 tens and 8 units there. Below that, 4 times 3 is 12, 1 ten, 2 units. The next box, uh, top left, we go 2 times 7 is 14. And the blocks below that is 7 times 3 is 21. And then we just literally add up the columns using column addition. So start on the right hand side. That first column, that first diagonal column is 6. The next column along is 4, add 0, add 2 is 6. Next column along, 0 add 8, add 1, add 1 is 10. So we write the 0 of the 10 there and carry the 1 over to the next column as we do with column addition. 
The next column we've got 0, add 4, add 2 is 6, add on the one that we carried is 7, and then the total of the last column is just that 1. So our answer to this question is 17,066. OK, I want to show you how you can use the Glossier method to multiply decimal numbers together now. It works exactly as before, but the only difference is that you have to work out where the decimal point is going to go in your answer. And this is really easy. Once we've written our numbers in like this, we then draw a line down from our decimal point here and then we draw a line across from our decimal point in the 6.2 and where those two lines meet you follow the diagonal line down here and so the decimal point in our answer will go here. Okay, then we fill in the boxes as before. 2 times 6 is 12 Two twos are four. Four times six is twenty-four. Four times two is eight. Three times six is eighteen. Three times two is six. One times six is six. And one times two is two. Then we add up the columns starting from the right hand side. The first column, the total of that is just that 4. Then we've got in the next column, 2 add 0 add 8 is 10. So we write the 0 of the 10 there and carry the 1. Then we've got 1 add 4 is 5, add 6 is 11, add the 1 that we carried makes 12. So we put the 2 there and carry the 1. 2 add 8 is 10, add the 2 is 12, add the 1 we carried is 13, so we put the 3 there and carry the 1 to the next column. OK, 1 add 6 is 7, add the 0 is still 7, add the 1 we carried makes 8, and then in the last column the total of that column is just 0. So you can see that the answer to this question is 8.3204. OK, we'll look at one final example. We're going to do 1.31 times by 19. Now, if you think about it, 19 is the same as 19.0. So the decimal place will be down here below the 9. So we're going to draw our horizontal line along there this time. The decimal point in 1.31 is there, so we draw our line down, and the where they meet, you follow the diagonal line down, and we put our decimal point in there. Now, fill in the boxes as you would before, using the same method. 3 times 1 is 3, 0, 3. 3 times 9 is 27. 1 times 1 is 1. And to finish off, 1 times 9 is 9. Add up the columns. First column total is 9. Then we've got 1 add 7 is 8. Next column, 3 add 2 is 5. Add the 9 is 14. So we write the 4, carry the 1. Total of that column is 1. Add the 1 we carried is 2. So the answer to our question is 24.8. Nine. And that shows us how we can use the Galossier method to multiply a decimal number by a whole number. So I hope you agree the Galossier method is a fantastic way of doing multiplication. My personal favourite. I hope it is yours too. To see more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.